Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost having some button fun today and uh, I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. This is sort of a craft with me and um, uh, so let me just zoom you in here so you can see what I've been doing. Okay, so I had, I was running low on my little uh, ugly buttons. I'm, I'm hopefully trying to turn pretty. Um, Everybody, you know, you may have a button collection, something like that. And uh, let's say if you're a crafter, you might have a few more buttons than normal. Yeah, well, you know. Okay, there's my hand so you can get an idea of how big the button bucket is. And it's about that deep, shall we say? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Oop. Oh, man, I got to get that before the puppy gets it. Hang on. I got it. Okay. Escaped button. Okay. All right, so... Just zooming in here. I made some I, what I call ugly buttons turning pretty and uh, just fun ways you can play with your buttons and buttons can be used in so many ways in journals. They can be used on the covers, on spine dangles, on little closures for um, uh, booklets or envelopes, things like that. Just just a whole host of fun. They can be used as tag toppers. I mean, you name it. And i uh, put my hand in here so you can see how big these buttons are. Okay. And let's just make some together. Um, you may want to grab your buttons, put me on pause. That's okay. Okay, I'll wait. No, no problem. And uh, grab some buttons, maybe grab some things to play with. If you don't have a lot, maybe grab some book page. That's a great thing to play with. Let me zoom out a little bit. And uh, I've got nail polish here. Maybe you've got some nail polish. What else am I playing with? Um, if you've got any liquid pearls or Nouveau drops, those are fun to put on the buttons. And also, ugh, okay, seed bead collection. If you've got any of those little tiny seed beads. Um, what was that? Uh, let me show you this one. Okay, like seed beads, like these little tiny jewelry beads. Uh, they're kind of cute when you put them in a button. Um, cute as a little bug, right? And it's very easy, just fun things that you can do. Um, so let's play. Where's my glasses? No, no, nowhere to be found. They walked off into the other room. Okay, let me get another pair. Thank goodness I have 27 pair right here. Um, I'm not kidding either. <laughs> I really do have a lot of glasses. I just bought a bunch and I thought it would be a good idea because I leave them everywhere. All right, so let's just have some fun. Um, one of my favorite kind of buttons to make is the, uh, the good old book page button. That's a lot of fun. Now you can make a button just out of book pages. You can glue a bunch of book pages together and use your circle punch and make a button out of it that way. Um, but uh, let's actually use a button and uh, go from there. So basically, I just took a button. Uh, you know, nothing too exciting about this button. Um, and there's a couple ways you can do it. One way is you use a circle punch. And you don't need a circle punch to make a button like this. So I'm going to show you the other way without the circle punch. Uh, but if you have a circle punch, it can make it very easy. So it's going to go on like this. This happens to be a one inch button with a one inch circle punch. So uh, I'm just going to put some glue down. You could probably use white glue here as well. I just happen to have the fabric fix ready. So we're just gonna, oh, it's plugged. I'm not quite as ready as I thought. Okay, now are we ready? Yeah, I hear noise, that's a good sound. All right, so let me zoom in here a little bit so you can see. Um, yep, so I'm just oozing some glues in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And there's, you know, no right or wrong way to do a button. For goodness sake, just have fun with it. And uh, so I'm grabbing the button. Or I'm grabbing the button. I'm grabbing my circled, my, my paper, my paper circle. And I'm just gluing it down on here. Now this button has a little bit of a curved top, but that's okay. And uh, it's uh, taking form of the, my goodness, gesso. I was gessoing earlier. <laughs> All right, so we have that. And then maybe I want to do this just to emphasize it. Maybe look at, make look a little bit older, a little bit more weathered. That's fine. You could use different colors around here too to make it even look more weathered and old. I'm going to come in with some black now. Just give it more of an aged look. Black will up the aging ante. And then in order to get the, uh, the holes, I just use a pin or a needle or something like that and just go through and then come around this side and just make them a little bigger. To take on the shape of the hole that are there and if you want you can also lightly over rub on the hole so they show up a little bit more All right okay very cute right cutie cute cute um very easy da 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 totally done now if you don't have a circle punch 
you might have instead. Maybe an embroidery board, okay, or a, I'm going to call it a sanding block, but it's a sanding sponge, our old friend sanding block. Okay, back up a little bit so you can see this. But let's say you just have a piece of paper and you want to do one of these. I've got to find another button. Hang on. Oh, mama, no, no. Okie dokie. Where are you? Um, okay, here's one. It's a big one. Can we do a smaller one than that? Let's just do this one. Okay, so I'm going to put the glue down as before. Here you go. And just a little glue. Probably too much. You don't really need a lot of glue here. Choom -ba -choom -ba -choom. And uh, there's a good spot with lots of text. Nowhere on here, of course. Okay, that's all right. We'll just put it on. Just put it on, Missy. Okay. I'm just going to loop that to adhere a little bit. I'm smooshing. Smooshing. Just want to get it to the point of grab. And then you can sand it off in the exact shape of the button. And it just sort of magically fits. Ta -da -da. So there's uh, multiple ways to get your circle. And you can just take off any extra little fluffies. Okay, very cute. Cutie boo. Hmm. And uh, now I'm inking. Inking, how adorable is that? Just adorbs. Now this button is a, a little bit thicker and it's kind of orange on the side, but maybe I don't want it to be orange. Maybe I want it to be gold on the side. And this is some gilding wax or gilding paste. And use a little, you can put a glove on to do this or you can just use your, I use my finger. You should probably put a glove on, put a glove on. Um, but it's uh, a nice way to change the color of the edges of your button. Uh, lickety split, whoop, yep, lickety splotch. Okay, very cute, huh? Yeah, I don't know, I just think that's adorable. And um, I think that's my favorite word these days, adorable. Everything's adorable. I think I have a puppy on adorable alert, so there's a lot of adorableness going on around here. And uh, if you poke from the back, oh, this one's four. Four. So let's do four holes so we can see where they are. And uh, don't poke your fingers. Okay. These are easy to do. This is kind of one of those, um, you know, you're sitting there watching YouTube videos or you're watching TV or you're, you know, listen to your, your sister tell her latest story about the lady down the street or something like that. And, you know, it's just, you're just relaxing. It's very low pressure. If your hands are bothering you, it's a very, um, it's not demanding on the hands. Um, no heavy cutting or anything like that. But you get some really cute, embellishments. Okay, so uh, that's another one. And uh, so that was a book page. And here's just some examples of book page. And you can also do little uh, black and white imagery, can, which can look really cute, or even advertisements. And this isn't actually a button. This is a, I, I use some car, um, a direct mailer card, cut out a circle and then put some advertisement on there and just made a little button out of that. And that was just cutie boo, right? Um, so yeah, so some of these others have um, more decor on them. So let's make a few of these for fun. What the hay, what the hay. Um, here's a button. Um, what should we do with this one? Okay, let me make um, the basement. Okay, now I want, I hope this isn't on too tight. Let me back up a little bit so you can see. All right, this is white gesso. That's in the Amazon shop if you're looking for that, or you can buy this at any arts and crafts store. Probably Walmart sells it too, but basically it's um, white paint. Which one was I going to do? Um, and I'm just man, painting it. There we go. Yeah. And you could rough these up a little if they're shiny buttons so it'll grab the paint better. That would probably have been a better idea, but uh, I didn't. We're just going to town, seeing what's happening. Put some white paint. I think I put some white gesso on something the other day and I forgot to go back and finish it because I was letting it air dry. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, I will get back to that piece. There it is right there. Yeah, it was a, uh, a tall, thin tag, I think. Okay, and don't worry if it fills the holes because you can just pop it out with the, um, you could use a brush here too. I, I do have brushes and things like that. I'm just lazy. Um, okay, so we have that and it may take a couple coats to get that to 
to look the way we want it to. So let's just do a couple of those up, maybe. How about you? What are you doing? All right, just go put you along the side. Just put a little gesso on you. And that's what I did with this one. This was white gesso first, and then I inked it up around the edges and then did the rest of it like that. So maybe we'll make that one. It's pretty easy. Okay. It's not even perfect coverage. It's just sort of coverage. Okay. Just tamping down the whites. So we get a little bit of a white background as opposed to the um, orange background. And uh, that one's still drying, so I shall carry on and maybe we'll do this one. Okay, this little guy, he has a clear button, just a clear cheapo plastic button from days gone by. And we'll make you we'll give a white base to start and that we can go anywhere from there. Yeah, we just have all sorts of possibilities. All right, and you can always come back and put a little more. You might want to do a bunch of white bases. Um, you can use acrylic paints, the little bottled paints. And um, these are acrylic paints in the background. That was like a, a teal blue um back here was uh, i think some kind of like pewter gray and uh, so just just fun things you can do um all right let me close that up put from the top on my gesso and uh just waiting for these to dry okay let me wait for these to dry for a minute okay we're still not quite dry but what i will do in the meantime because i i I don't like waiting. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and fill the center of this one with glue. Then I'm going to put some seed beads there because I can do that now while the, the gesso is still drying. All right. So what color seed beads should we use in this one? Okay. How about these? All right. How about these bluey teal ones? There you go on and get in there. Just get your little selves in there. Oh, not you, glue ball. You want to go in there. There you go. All right, can you see? I'm just using my finger. <laughs> Nothing fancy here. No fancy tools. Just good old finger tool. Okay, there's a little spot in there. Are we good? We're feeling pretty good. Oops, no, jumped out. Okay, back in you go. All right, I'm giving the old eh, there. Whoops, took one out. Okay, yeah, there we go. Back in there. <laughs> you don't want to stay? Maybe I might put some glue over top of it. Okay, are you going to come off? No, you're okay. All right, so we have that, and uh, what I did, probably use a little more white than that, but where's my, my black dauber? There you are. I just went around and did this. And that gives it, this is a black soot ink, and this just gave it a little bit of a, a hue, a hue around the edges. Very cute, right? And I feel like I should have circumscribed that somehow. Let me grab a marker and see if I can circumscribe with a marker. Let's see what I got. Nope, that's the point. Whoops, no. Nope. Where are my markers? Oh, they're there. Okay. Um, let's try this one. This is a Tombow marker. Let's see if this works. All right, let me try this. And if it works, then I'll, I'll zoom in on it so you can see what kind of effect we get. Meh. I would say that's a big fat meh. Okay, uh, apparently my glue dried. and My little seed bees are going everywhere. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glossy accents over the top of this and then that will seal it in. And then I don't have to worry about that. But normally if you get enough glue down there, you just squash the seed beads in and it stays. Actually, let me just do that. Put some more glue down. This is, uh, yeah, plan B, more glue. That comes before plan C. Glossy accents, yeah. So that's what you can do. Because you might not have glossy accents. So there you go. Oh, we got one more here. And in you go. It's tiny work, but it can be done. And it's kind of relaxing. There we go. They're snuggled in there now. Okay, let's try something else. I'm going back over to, what do I got? I got this. Okay, what is this? This is a Jane Davenport. Oh, I know what I can do. All right, I'm going to try this. And if this doesn't work, I have another plan. Okay, plan C. This is a Jane Davenport silver. Nope, not working. Okay, that's all right. So we can do this. Um, what color would we like there? Maybe a gold? Let's bring on these big guns. Liquid pearls in brass. That might look cool. Let's give it a ring around the rosy here and try and draw a, a circle. See how this goes. I have no idea what's going to happen here. All right, going, going. 
going, going, learning on the fly, going back, going, and done. Okay, not bad. All right, there we go. Okay, so now the whole thing is you don't want to touch it. Okay, maybe I'm just going to put some sideways, like not sideways. I'm going to put like numbers on the clock around here just for fun. I got my little whitish background. Isn't that cute? I mean, that doesn't look anything like the original button. And now I'm going to attempt to pick it up. Don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. You're going to drop it. Okay, better just get under it. Oh, I'm going to bring you to it. There it is. The little button. How cute is that? Okay, so that was safer, right? Yep, who are we kidding? <laughs> if you've watched my videos at all, you know what happens with me and liquid pearls and stuff like that. So I'm just going to move you over here into the safety zone. There we go. You're off. You're off and running. Okay, let's put your little brother, this guy here. Okay, so now, 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 I have another idea. What if we take some liquid pearl... What color do we want to use? Maybe a darker one. And we plop it in the center and we use it to stick our seed beads. Let's see if that works. Okay, this is a nice contrasting color. This is bronze liquid pearls. Okay, let's try this. I have no idea if this is going to work. We're going to try though. All right. I'm going to use this as the glue and it gives us some like color in here. Okay. A little base. There we go. All right. That wasn't very straight, but not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. You could leave it just like that. You totally could. You totally could. All right. Let's see what's a nice color we're going to use here. Um, let us grab. How about these? Oh, oh, poop. I'll be right back. Okay, I just had to chase a wayward seed bead across the floor because uh, I didn't want my puppy to eat it. So let's see what color. Well, let's do gold. That might be pretty. All right, it's right here. Put these in the center. Just drop them down there and I'm hoping they still stick. I don't know. I'll get back to you on that one if they stick. I think it should stick. All right, so I can pick that one up and show you. That's kind of cute, huh? I mean, that's just cute the way it is. I don't need to do any more to it. All right, so over there you go. Okay, now let's do... Okay, I think these are dry now. I'll probably use a little bit more. Just so... I'd like a more opaque background. When you come in with a second coat, it, it goes a lot more opaque. More white. There we go. It's kind of hard to do all the sides without actually rubbing it off by touching it. So, yep, there. I'm sure I'm taking it all off now, but that's okay. We'll just put more on later. Got that one. And we'll put you in a little more here. Make you a nice white base. Okay. And there you go. You guys will dry. And I will entertain the crowd with my next <laughs> my next trick okay um uh let's say we've got this guy and he's got a white base already so maybe we don't need to he's kind of like a, a clear a cleary white and maybe we just want to do little pretty things on him so let's just do some fun pretty things let's work with pink and black this is enamel accents and this is ballerina okay i hope it's not too close for you guys to see um okay so let's put some black accents on here let's try a little design what can we do i don't know let's just make it up as we go all right oh nothing's coming out all right let me do a test over here i think i need a pin where my kingdom for a pin here's one here's one come on let go come out of my art glitter glue okay Come here, you old rusty pin. Oh, you're kind of shot. Uh, let's try this pin. We have backup pin in arm's reach, which is awesome. Okay. And we're, we're going in here. Okay, yeah, we're in. All right, let's see if this does the trick. Okay, we'll try that. Okay, here we go. I should probably test it first. Huh? Nothing. 
<laughs> big fat nothing. Big fat nothing burger. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Maybe I haven't used this one in a while. This stuff works great when it works. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're gone. Okay. Oh, oh, geez. Now I put it everywhere. All right, okay. And let's make some... Ah, oh, let's see. Let's make some... One, two, three... I'm going to make, like, little flowers with the dots. Do they look like flowers? Not really. That looks like a... That looks like a happy face, <laughs> doesn't it? Oh, I'm just going to keep going with the flowers. Maybe it'll flower itself up a little bit. Okay. It's kind of like uh, painting on a rice grain. There. Um, need, oh, I think my, my glob is back. I need to deglob myself again. Hang on. Excuse me. Deglobbing. Mm-hmm. These long pins are really handy, and they're a little bit bigger with these pearls. I, I would recommend grabbing some of those. They're very so handy in the craft world. Okay, and there, and there. Okay. All right, so, so yeah, what is that, Pam? I don't know. We're just going to go from there. Let's grab the pink and do some, I don't know, interpinking here. Move you over. Okay. And what you going to do, Missy, what you going to do? Okay, there we go. Let's just put some little doodads here in between the black flowers, which are all morphing into strange amorphous shapes. Okay, so if your base is already a good basement color to work on, you can just go from there. Um, what do I, I feel like I want to do something at that center. Should I just put some pink in it? Yeah, I think I need a pin clearance again. So always have your pins at the ready when you're working with this stuff. But uh, if you buy new stuff, it'll probably be just fine. Mine, mine is probably pretty old. These, these things do last a while. So oh, I'm just going to fill the whole thing in and see what that looks like. I'm going to paint it in. All right, there we go. I should have my, my stronger glasses on to see what I'm, see what I'm doing here. Okay. Well, that's kind of weird, but we did it. And let's go around the edges. Maybe do some more little clockwork-like things. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, 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 okay. All right, so we have that, and then that's kind of weird in the center. Let me do something with that. Maybe I'll put a blob of black in the center to give it, like, some central focus. How about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, how about that? Oh, yeah, that's kind of interesting. It's just running all over the place. Okay. Over here you go. There we go. There. Yeah, it's kind of a pretty little decorated button. I mean, hey, that didn't exist before we came along today. Let's slide you gingerly over there. Okay, so are you guys dry? Dry enough. Dry enough. Okay. Then that'll work. Um, what do we got? Let's get some, maybe some tiny peg stamp. Oh, these are cute. Oh, this will work nicely if I can... Uh, so this is a tiny peg stamp. It's just a little tiny thing. So if you have tiny stamps, these come in handy. And there's a way to do this without even tiny stamps, but let's try tiny stamps. I should really wait till this dries. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Oh, it came out good. Yay, good. All right, tap, tap. Oh, that's so cute, isn't it? I just love that, yeah. So I got my peg stamps on Etsy and I just, you know, typed in peg stamps. And I think I got these from Nora Jane and they were, they're amazing. I love all these little peg stamps. So there's all sorts of ones you can get out there. I'll just keep going with this. I like this. I'm just going to like as if it's a, oh, I bet you could just stamp on like a big stamp across the whole top. Yeah, I bet you could do that too. Like one big stamp. That's cute, huh? Now that where it's clogged with the paint, you just come along with either this pin or your needle and you open it up and you say you will not foil me no 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 I I have my 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 ways see I can get through to you yes there we go do 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 do, do. okay ultra cute and over you go so they can take on new little personalities hey they want to get dressed up and go out somewhere how fun is that all right let's try that um 
stamping over the top idea and seeing if that works. Okay, so we have this one. And let's get a script stamp and see if we can stamp on top of that. See how that goes. All right, let's try that. I'm glad you guys are so agreeable. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Okay, so this is still a little wet. Oh, well, we're just going to go for it. I think there's enough residual ink on here. We'll find out. This is a script stamp. Here's the back if you're looking for it. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. What do you think? Good, bad, ugly? Dun, da, 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 oh, that kind of came out neat. I did get some script on there. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. Okay, maybe a bigger button would show better. And let me just open up that one pinhole. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. And what do I do? I want to put a little gold on that? Maybe, no, no, I don't. I want to go copper this time. That's right, where's my... Where's my bin o copper? Here it is. This is the Pent Art Antique Paste in bronze brass, which strangely, well, no, I guess it does look bronze brass. Let me find copper. Here's a copper. Are you a copper? Oh, well, that's all right. Here's a copper. Copper. Okay. So um, this brand, I don't think they make it anymore. It actually, it says bronze, but yeah, it sure looks copper to me. Um, Getting a little of that. Picking up this guy. Probably got to smudge it. All right, just going around the edge. It's almost like, oh, I wonder if you could do this on a penny. They're already copper, right? Or they used to be. That'd be cool. Yeah. Actually, that would be very cool. What if you could, could, you could play with currency? That's probably some law. <laughs> There's always a law <laughs> foiling it. But, you know, if you did it behind closed doors. All right, you never heard it here. All right, so there we go. We have nice edging on that. Very coppery, very cute. Okay, and we'll just leave that one as is. Totally adorbs, totally. Where'd my baby wipe go? There it is, okay, I've got it. And uh, let me just show you these others so you can oogle at them while I'm figuring out what to do next. We have time we got. Okay, we can make a few more. Okay, good. Um, we got this guy. All right, so let's put something different on him. Let's say we want to put, oh, this is kind of cool. Let's, let's use this. All right, this is uh, some old, let me back up a bit so you can see, some old paper from an old book, an old Hershey's Cocoa cooking book. How cool is that? Um, and I love the, the, the color. So let's just put our glue basement down. Boy, we really want to move you, don't we? Yeah. Let's move you way over there. Move you over there. And you, you look like a birthday cake. You're going over there. Yeah, you go over there and dry. Um, out of my reach, please. All right, here we go. And I think white glue would work just as well. Like I think I, think I said that, but yeah. All right. So let's, uh, hey, who doesn't love chocolate recipes? Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. I think I meant to do, use a uh, illustration, but somehow I got enamored by this. So we're doing this one. There we go. It happened. Boy, you could really use up a lot of scraps doing this. Look at I'm, I'm using a whole page and doing one circle right out of the middle. So that's crazy, but you know, hey, I got lots of this paper, so it's okay. All right, there we go. So we got that down. You just kind of you finger tool it, hone it around the edges so it's all down. Got the word cocoa on there. Yeah. <laughs> That's always a good day. All right. And inking it up. And it's taking... Oh, yep. That's that's how things happen. They jump right out of your hands here. And uh, maybe we need a little bit of black or something on there. Get a little more emphasis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we're going to have to do something with this, different with this one. What are we going to do? Okay, let's put the holes in first of all. I guess I'll just grab this pin. That'll work just as well as the needle. I'm going to poke them through this way first. And then come back around here. Open them up. 29. I guess we're wrapping it up on this one. Well, um, you know the drill. If uh, Thank you so much for hanging out. Love hanging out with you guys. I totally appreciate all your comments. And uh, I learned so much from you. So thank you very much for, for all you 
you offer and suggest. And if you have ideas for stuff, please feel free to share them or tips and tricks as well. We're all learning together here. You can jump on over to the Facebook group and add those as well, along with uh, we do weekly and monthly challenges over there and all focused on creating journals and junk journal um, embellishments and uh, ephemera and things like that. And uh, um, let's put a little blackening on the top of this. Just, uh, I don't know, it's just making it look different. Kind of like a dirty old button. There you go. It's a dirty old button, you dirty old button. <laughs> and um, um, yeah, if you uh, find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you um, um, can want to click the notification bell to um, uh, be notified of new videos coming out, my videos come out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday um, at 7 a.m. Eastern time. And if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies that can be found in my Amazon shop. All links are down below along with my Etsy shop. If you're looking for vintage digital kits or um, journals or things like that when they're available, they all come up there. The vintage digital kits are always available. I'm just putting a little extra gold hue in the center. Yeah, yeah it's kind of pretty, huh? Yeah, okay, well, we'll keep going. Um, and um, my newsletter, free monthly emailed newsletter. There's a link below and there's fun perks with that. You get a free digital image and things like that. And um, a note from the bookmaker and oh, there's another one of those buttons. Yep. And uh, um, uh, a checklist of supplies. And you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. And remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. And let's just put a few more dots on here because we can because we can. Maybe we're going to do some sparklies. How about we going sparkly? Let's go sparkly. Sparkly. Different color we want to go. Yes. Nope, not that color. This color. All right, this is what I actually use a lot. Icicle? Stickles. is basically gl glitter glue. Can I say that 10 times fast? Glitter glue. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. I'll just put one there. Oh, getting a little thick. Okay. Oh, thick and gloopy, but it's working. You know what I did? I opened, I cut the end off of this because it got stuck. That was my, my error. I thought I would open it up by making the cutting off the end. Don't do that. No, use the pins to clear it because then your globs come out much bigger after that. So I really need to get another icicles, I think. I might have more than one. Okay. So I'll show you. Whoop. Okay. So if you don't like the way your globs came out, and sometimes we don't like the way our globs come out. You can smoosh it. Let's try smooshing it. And just do an all over glitter button. Yeah, how about that? That's kind of pretty, right? I like that. I can work with that. Okay, we've been glittered. Um, so there you go, folks. I hope you had fun. Remember that uh, fun can be simple. Create with reckless abandon. And here's our Dunsies. Really trying not to touch the, uh, the, the heavily uh, decorated ones that are still drying. Um, and have fun. Take care. And uh, ha happy buttons. Bye.